a shimmering light in the darkness, and merciless elemental force. This is the beginning of a civilization. For eons, humans have relied on natural phenomena like lightning and raw manual labor to master this element of nature. With our mastery of it, we as humans began our rapid spiral up to the technological advancements we have achieved today. Embarking on this journey, we'll first take a look at the Kardashev scale and how we as humans have been using energy. To evaluate our progress and gauge the potential of other intelligent life forms, the astrophysicist and doctor of physical and mathematical sciences Nikolai Kardashev invented the Kardashev scale, which he proposed in the year 1964. His premise is, in a nutshell, that the technological progress of a civilization is intertwined deeply with its ability to use energy. By this, we can not only measure our own progress, but also the progression of other species in space, in case we ever meet them. Beyond this, Kardashev also thought of different categories to classify civilizations in to so-called types, with a type 1 civilization being able to harness all of the energy on their home planet. Now away from all this theoretical talk, and let's take a look at our own history and our way to become a type 1 civilization ourselves. While some cavemen bang and strike rocks against each other, they don't know that they're doing the first steps on the way to uncountable civilizations and maybe even an intergalactical imperium. Said cavemen already know how to bend nature to their will, on a small scale at least. By building huts, they shelter themselves from the bitter cold, tools made from bones and stones allowed to make efficiently hunt. Most of the day is spent on bare survival and the discovery of fire was more a lucky coincidence than a real scientific effort. With fire at our hand, entering the stone age, we also quickly jump to animal domestication and the invention of the wheel. In the Neolithic age, we begin to use animals in farming on a bigger scale. Much less time is used for bare survival, but on top of that, these quite literal first horsepower is a way to use energy as animals are walking energy in the eyes of the Kardashevian thinker. Because of this outsourcing of work, we as humans could spend time on pottery, sewing, and even art. But things won't keep this peaceful forever. The Bronze Age saw some of the first declarations of war. While war being a horrible thing, it's always been and always will be a time where technology prospers. Smelting ores, invention of gears, and architectural advancements have been made in these times. The Iron Age brought further improvements. Windmills and water wheels are first forms of automations in human history. Aqueduct transport massive amounts of water over large distances, and we as humans slowly start thriving on planet Earth by controlling it instead of being controlled. Now we are approaching the Dark Ages and Middle Ages. The progress is now advancing on all fronts. Ships transport goods over wide distances, smeltering and smithery has become widespread craft all over the world, and the discovery of gunpowder in China laid the tracks for further advancements. While all this history has been interesting up until this point, we now have reached a point that made humanity take a leap into a before unknown territory, the Industrial Revolution. The steam engine allowed to improve industry in all regards and revolutionize transportation with locomotives. Turbines created energy in an efficient way. It has never been easier to produce energy before. A fact that is often overlooked is the now widespread usage of chemicals, which led to further improvements. Just to name some, soon after followed the battery, electricity, combustion engines, medicine, and specialized industries like the steel industry and mass production instead of manufacturers. The next big jump would be the First and Second World Wars. During both, even though these horrible wars have destroyed the life of millions, both were times of scientific advancements and innovation. During the First World War, all topographical levels had been used for warfare. Submarines were built and fought with heavy armed ships. On land, tanks and other motorized vehicles were used to get the slight advantage that wins the fight. The advancements can be even more clearly seen in the aviation in World War I, beginning with planes used in the beginning as just air reconnaissance, then using them to bomb trenches until the planes developed into flying fortresses armed with machine guns. The relatively young concept of planes developed in the course of the war in a way that decades of warless time couldn't reproduce. 
The Second World War led to even more innovation. Radar systems scanned the sky, the first computer was built, helicopters and jets roamed the sky, and rockets were invented. While the first rockets were supposed to bring destruction and death, they are now a vital part in our space exploration. Now, we are slowly but surely coming to our recent time and age, the most technological and advanced we've ever been. Some of the most important and life-changing inventions of the last 20 years were surely smartphones, the Curiosity Mars rover, the invention of electric cars and reusable rockets. But while already living a very luxurious life thanks to many technical gadgets of the modern day and age, we are not yet what Kardashev deems a full Type 1 civilization. Remember, to be a Type 1 civilization, you are to be able to use all of the energy at your home planet, which is for us still a bit far-fetched. But we are still advancing, even faster than we used to be. Some would even call it exponential progress. One of the most important inventions of our future that was not mentioned before is artificial intelligence. While harboring danger, artificial intelligence could also be the next giant leap for us, just like the steam engine in the first industrial revolution. While still in its infancy, artificial intelligence already replaces jobs all over the world for basically free. Tasks like answering mails or customer support are just the beginning. Soon, we'll probably see many simple jobs like cleaning or cooking fully replaced by artificial intelligence. Hard manual labor has already been replaced today in a bigger scale, like lifting heavy things in the near future, this kind of hard labor will also be replaced in smaller aspects by robots, like building houses or repairing holes in the street. Experts are talking about a fifth industrial revolution. Completely autonomous robots will become the norm and even be self-sustaining. We'll be wearing more than just smartphones to make our lives easier. Maybe even our smart glasses, smart shoes, or smart jackets. When it comes to industry, then our whole view of technology will change. Quantum computer with unimaginable computing power will be widespread. Even materials and textiles will change to be more durable, heat resistant, or water resistant. Our energy production will further progress with advancements in nuclear energy. Androids will be so advanced that it will be hard to distinguish between them and real humans. But this is just the beginning. The closer we get to a Type 1 civilization, the more we expand into space with colonies on Moon and Mars and being able to control weather and prevent natural disasters with machines of monstrous size. Humans will probably have augments, virtual reality integrated into your eyeballs and communication systems operated beside your ear. Language barriers being a problem of the past. Megastructures will be scattered over Earth's surface that'll even put metropoles like our modern Tokyo into its shade. Transportation between planets will be more or less regular like trains in a city. Hypersonic trains will bring you around the world in half a day. Some even speculate that Earth will form into a planet-wide city. Completely connected with small spaces being left unpopulated but being used for industry. Without a doubt, we'll be becoming an interplanetary species with colonies that don't need their home planet to survive. That is, if we survive until we've made and invented all these technologies. This was maybe just a small glimpse into the future that could be ahead of us. Looking forward to the Type 1 civilization we're destined to become. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think? How long will it take for us to advance this far? Will it be just 300 years or could it take us millennia to come? Make sure to write a comment and in case you're wondering how civilizations of type 2 or 3 look, make sure to check out our video of the Kardashev scale.